Hey everybody, Keith K here, and we're back in the South Pacific with some more Stranded Deep. This video and probably the next couple um, are going to serve as combination videos. It'll both be the ongoing playthrough um, that I've uh, been working on here in 2020 and a uh, raft building tutorial. I have an old raft building tutorial um, and I thought I would update it starting from scratch. So I've got a bunch of supplies laid out in front of me. Uh, we're going to make use of all of these as we build uh, a two segment raft uh, to get started. You um, are definitely going to need some sort of flotation device. And if you go over to the vehicles menu, you can see that you don't need to gather buoys or tires or barrels. You actually can use wood. Um, it just it takes a lot of wood and I think aesthetically I like the, the barrels um, the best, uh, probably followed by the, the tires. Uh, we're also going to need wood to create our base. Uh, sorry, um, why isn't that shifting? To create our floor. Um, or we can use corrugated uh, raft floor, which I, I, I like the way that looks. And then we're also going to need um, quite a few lashings, cloth, and lots of wood. Uh, we're going to want to build a canopy, an anchor, a sail, and a rudder before we go anywhere. So as you can see, there's a fair amount of resources associated with that. So to get started, the first thing you're going to need uh, are those barrels in my case. And um, the previous episode of the playthrough covered where to find those. Um, and I'll link to that here. But essentially, you're going to look at the shipwrecks uh, near your island. And they're going to have, if you're lucky, at least barrels or tires or buoys. And as long as you get enough to create uh, a segment or two, you can really get started. My approach is always to you know, build my first couple of segments, uh, depending on what I find. And then we'll travel to another island and check out the shipwrecks there to see um, you know, if we can extend our, uh, our raft. So let's get started. Our first task is going to be to create our base. That's where everything else goes. So you can see here, uh, three barrels and one lashing will give us a barrel raft base. And we've got two sets of three and I've got plenty of lashings here. So it doesn't require too many resources, uh, honestly, other than the barrels themselves, which can be a little tricky to find. So we'll build our first base here. Oh, and you'll see in the, uh, the note here, we need a hammer to build, just like you need a hammer for uh, creating buildings. So let me grab that and we'll be right back. All right, and while I'm running off for that hammer, if you find these videos helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel and give the video a like. Thanks a lot. All right, and here we are back with a hammer. You can use a crude mallet as well. And uh, we're gonna start with our barrel raft base. Okay, and you can see that that's gonna turn red. Now, this can get a little tricky. Um, you know, we're gonna wanna build two right next to each other. So we'll put it close to the water. Sometimes it gets really finicky after you build your first one. Um, so we'll just see what happens here. Hopefully you want to find a spot that's fairly smooth. Uh, otherwise, like I said, it can get a little finicky in terms of lining things up. All right, so we'll build the second piece of the base here. Yeah, this is exactly what I'm talking about. So uh, what we're gonna do is forget about that and let's see we'll have to pick this up yeah and we're going to set it on its side which may seem odd but you'll understand why in just a second we'll try this again i'm glad it actually showed us that hopefully this will snap there we go okay so now um we've got two segments here And we'll build our base. I'm going to go with the uh, corrugated scrap. So we go to base. And they go on this way. Um, not, not that way. They won't snap on that way. So, And we'll do that again a second time with these other two that I've got here. Um, all right. 
and I will usually make a T shape. So uh, the you know once we find more supplies, there'll be a third one here, and then I will put one or maybe two out in front of that, depending on um, how this goes. So let's see, the next thing we're gonna look for is we are going to build our propulsion system. And I like to start with the rudder, uh, which takes two sticks, one cloth, and the lashing. Uh, because I can never remember where it goes. All right, so it does go on this side here. And again, we're having this placement problem. It is pretty finicky. So uh, once again, we'll lift this sucker up if it put cooperate. Oh, uh, it's gonna go over. Come on, ah, almost. And I'm sorry, I'm making you watch me do this. So let's give this another try. We may have to put it in the water, okay. So it doesn't really matter which one. Um, one of these two will be the middle. So we'll put it here. And the reason I do that is because As I go to add the canopy and other pieces, I wanna clearly remember where I have the rudder so that uh, we have that in mind. All right, so the next thing we're gonna build is, let's build our sail, and we will wanna put that in the middle. Okay, and we want to make sure the arrows are pointing in the direction of travel here. Uh, let's actually put it to the side. I think that may be a little weird from a propulsion perspective, but I'll put it there. Reason being is, I don't know why I keep hitting that quick craft menu. When we go to place our canopy, we want the canopy over the rudder. It'll give us a little protection from the sun. So what have I got here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have enough for the anchor, just wasn't recognizing it. That's fine, that's fine. We will put this guy in the water. I think that'll get us out of this problem. Maybe not far enough in the water. Come on. It's gonna give me a hard time. No, you wanna avoid that. Those spikes will poison you. Come on. Should have just brought all the supplies I needed with me. That would have been a little easier, but nonetheless, hopefully we'll get it this time. Oh, this is just being a pill. All right. Okay, so we've got a canopy, a sail, an anchor, and a rudder. We are good to go here. Um, I've also brought some meat, uh, coconut flask with me, so I have some ready water. We'll be able to drink coconuts wherever we go. Uh, compass in case we need to, we struggle at all to get back. Uh, and I'll bring an extra cloth with me just to have it. Oops, actually, let's put some of these in here. 
so that we can just grab these guys. So this gives us basically some extra storage, if you will. And we're gonna head off to, let's go to that island there. So I'm just gonna get this a little bit out of the water. I mean, off the beach, I should say. Give us a little bit of room. And now we've got our initial raft, and you could probably do quite a bit with just this basic setup here. Got space to climb on. And we're going to open our sail. Okay, and then we're going to pull down E to grab onto our rudder. Okay, and off we go. So you can look around, uh, and the sharks are already coming. Uh, and you can already see that we're moving a little bit faster than the life raft. Now one thing you do want to do is make sure you know where you came from. That can be a little bit of a challenge. And we'll get uh, to this island. Um, it's early in the morning still, so I may be able to make the trip and come back. Uh, or I may set up base. We'll see um, once we get there, but uh, I'll come back once we're a little bit closer. And just a quick word about navigation here. Uh, you can look around with the mouse and just like you would if you were running, use the same controls. In the case of the PC, it's the keyboard. Um, you just use the keys you would move to run around, to move the raft, to steer the raft, independent of your view. I do find that um, building some distinctive features on the shoreline, as you can see there, uh, help designate your base island if for some reason you get disoriented. And uh, we'll be back when we get to the island itself. Never run into an island without a shipwreck, but I don't see one. We might be in trouble here. Not really in trouble, but uh, we might have to go to yet another island. And that's certainly not uh, the end of the world, but um, in terms of getting a video put together for you all, it's kind of a pain. Let's see if we've got anything around the corner here. Looks like we've got a nice sandbar. I do see some rock up over there, so you know this could be a potential source of additional rock. Uh, there is a little bit of spray right there, so we will check that out. Yeah, it looks like there isn't a single shipwreck on this island, which uh, for sure, that's a first for me. Actually, there's a bunch of spray, so we will take a look at each of these in their turn. Let's check it out. Yeah, we might end up with oh these wrecks that are just not that useful. And you can start with the rudder first. That's actually a better approach. I'll just leave the sail up with the sea anchor. That's not going anywhere. All right, we're going to take our chances and we are going to look at each of these in tow. Oh, that's a giant fish. I think that's a grouper. We are not going to try to catch him, but that would provide <laughs> quite a bit of meat. Uh, and yet no buoys or anything. I'm going to get back to the boat before I run into some trouble with that shark. Oh, too late. Alright, so we're going to grab onto the rudder uh, for two reasons. One, it makes it a lot harder to knock us off the raft than if we're just kind of standing loose. And uh, it also lets us be ready to take control of the raft before we start moving. So I'm going to have to explore a little bit and find an island that has
some additional shipwrecks because we don't have any here. So apologize for that and I'll be back as soon as I can find some. And I think I'm gonna stop it here because we're a little over 15 minutes and I think that's about where I wanna keep these. So uh, I will finish this up in a follow-up um, video. If you like the series, please do um, subscribe and like the video. It does help the channel. Thanks again and I'll see you back here soon.